Welcome back craft beer lovers. So it's thirsty Thursday and it's time for a video review and I'm going to cause some more uh, interest and controversy. Um, so people have been following my um, attempt to find a New England IPA that I've actually liked. Um, everybody keeps saying you should try this, you tr should try this. I've tried a lot um, and pretty much come to the conclusion now after trying quite a few that these squids are going to be probably the last ones I'll try for a while unless I find something really like. Um, the other day I had the Jiffy Squid, didn't rate that, too juicy. Um, yesterday I had the Squid Rising, thought that was a little bit better, a little bit uh, more bitter, a bit more like an IPA. This is one, oh, you've got to try the Squid Supremacy. Guess what, I'm going to try the Squid Supremacy. Um, now, whenever I post something that I don't like, um, I usually cop a bit of flack for it, and that has been no different the last few days. Um, I think people that know me well enough um, know that I'm not gonna, I, I mean, I take the time to tell you what I do and don't like about a beer. Um, I don't just bag it out and say that's a crap beer or it's a sink pour. Um, I'll tell you what I do and don't like about it in as much detail as I can. Um, and so the thing that I'm not really fond of with these New England IPAs, one, the juice, like, I don't like it. When I get, all I get is pineapple juice. Um, this one looks like it's pretty juicy. It smells like it's pretty juicy. The description sounds pretty juicy. Um, so I'm already on the back foot. Um, I don't mind the hazy IPAs um, as much. Um, and I'm really trying to find something I like about the juicy ones. Um, if you like them, go ahead, drink them, drink them all you like, great. For me, there's not a lot of complexity in a lot of them. Um, but anyway, this is the Squid Supremacy. Um, we'll see how we go with this and see if this one can change my mind. Initial flavors, sort of front of the tongue, bit interesting a um, little bit of piney like not pineapple pine resin type um, bitterness it does smell very juicy it smells like pineapple juice bit of interest on the tongue flattens out pretty quick it's got a little bit of bite on the back end um, I'm really swishing it around to try and get flavour out of it. I think that's sort of making it a bit more flavoursome than if I was just to sip it. If I sip it, I just mainly get pineapple. It, it is a little bit bitter on the back end. Trying to put my finger on it, a bit sort of spicy, in like peppery um, bitterness, not so much hot or resinous. Um, but yeah, look, sorry guys, um, I'm not converted. Uh, that's definitely not going to convert me. I, I have had some decent um, New England IPAs that I've enjoyed drinking. I just for me, I don't think it's a very interesting style. Um, I don't get the juice, I don't get the flatness um, out of it. They're all fairly low carbonation. Um, and, and that's just my personal opinion. So take it or leave it. We've all got uh, different opinions. We all like different things. That's what's great about it. There's lots of options. For me, I think I'll um, probably pass on the, this style, on the juicy style anyway. Might try with a few more hazies, but I'll stick to the beers that I really like, um, that have got much more going on in them. Uh, particularly reds, browns, some IPAs, um, yeah, and stouts and things. So anyway, life's too short to drink bad beers. I'll drink it anyway. Cheers. See ya.